Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster back here on this Wednesday, April 5th, 2023. It's about 1022 a.m. out here in the West Coast, state of California. Latest earthquake shows a 3.5 down into the um, Middle America Trench area right there listed on the earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on here across the rest of the map and it's perfect timing for the train to go by i'm telling you things are right on cue today almost reminds me of that movie uh the truman show you guys remember that show with uh, jim carrey where uh, everything's just appropriately timed all right uh let's see alaska looking a little bit active today here with a couple smaller quakes up into the mid region 2.9 near ruby alaska and also a 2.5 within the vicinity of that prior earthquake and of course movement along the Aleutian Trench continues overnight and this morning as well. As uh, far as the Tanaga and the Takawanga volcano out here into the Aleutian Trench area, most of this from yesterday. I uh, really haven't seen too much activity here today. Just kind of keeping an eye on that. Uh, we did see a 3.4 a little bit further to the west of those volcanoes. We'll continue to watch that and see how this plays out. Uh, for the California area, of course, following the four-pointer there from yesterday, that was a 4.4 just off of the um, Calaveras Fault Zone. I think it's on a little little tiny fault called the Trespinos Fault. I can't find a whole lot of information on that specific fault system, uh, but it is a very small fault just to the east of the Calaveras Fault Zone. It uh, looks like we did see a little bit of aftershock activity within the vicinity of that 4.4. couple ones so far, and also a little bit of activity along the creeping set, or uh, yeah, on the San Andreas Fault, the creeping segment here, just south of that earthquake activity. A little bit further up north outside of the Pacifica area, a couple earthquakes there from yesterday as well. And what else do we have here across Southern California? Looks like a typical day. Uh, continue to watch to see how it plays out with the uh, movement out here along the West Coast. Not seeing too much activity currently kicking up here in Southern Cal. Latest a 2.4 just off the San Jacinto Fault Zone. And uh, one earthquake up here on the Garlock Fault Shear Zone. I'm kind of paying attention to this area. Uh, that was a 1.0 <clears throat> coming in late last night rest of the country well a little bit of movement outside of the yellowstone area let's go ahead and see what's going on up there <clears throat> excuse me across the region today maybe maybe not i'll see if this wants to work stand by for one second okay not for sure what's going on there but uh little issue once again with the yellowstone stations not appropriately popping up all right let's go over here to the uh, university of utah we'll check out their uh, individual stations here and see what's going on uh, let's check out the northwest corner of the park around the madison river area uh, a little handful of earthquakes across the region today nothing going on uh, as far as major activity goes it looks like uh, lake yellowstone area about the same, a couple of smaller quakes there throughout the um, <clears throat> evening time period. All right, moving on past that, it looks like um, Oklahoma area. Stand by. A little bit of movement out in the Oklahoma area today, it looks like. Um, outside of the Woodward area, a little swarming up here. Um, mostly ones I did see a 2.8 out here as well i believe there is some oil fields out here in the vicinity very close to the uh, earthquake activity that's going to be these little checkered boxes here on the map uh, with some older wastewater ponds it looks like but uh, yeah that's exactly what it is some tanks out there notice each one of these pads have oh a, a tank or two on it and uh they and they um dispose of the wastewater here accordingly and that's kind of what's triggering these earthquakes out here today in the oklahoma region getting a pretty good uh, swarm of activity there today uh, rest of the country fairly quiet one little small earthquake around the north carolina area uh, further movement down along the middle america trench as noted here on the earthquake 3d globe 
with that 3.5 coming in there, the latest quake. Uh, haven't really seen too much larger scale aftershock activity from yesterday, 6.3. Continue to watch that. Uh, a little bit of movement up north, or I should say down south here, along the Peru Chile Trench overnight with some threes and fours. And outside of the, um, just off the Chile coast here, 4.3 coming in pretty shallow earlier this morning, about 13 kilometers deep. Uh, a little noticeable uptick in movement here across our area of Fiji and the Vanuatu area today. Looking at the most recent quakes here, shows, well, another deep earthquake here, it looks like, uh, early this morning into the Tonga Trench, 4.9, also a 4.3 coming in. Early this morning after midnight, 642 kilometers deep. Remember, we've been noticing a trend of deeper movement quakes here across um, this subduction zone area just south of the Santa Cruz Islands. There's a trench that sits right here, deeper movement, uh, definitely adding strain further upstream, I'm sure. Uh, this area is capable of producing a significant sized earthquake. So we'll watch this with this uh, little sequence of deeper movement quakes here well into the trench 600 almost 650 kilometers that's just about as deep as they get uh, so continuing to watch this region here throughout the day a little bit of activity up along the Kermadec trench 4.8 coming in pretty shallow movement not a whole lot being listed here across the New Zealand area looks like uh, maybe a three or so across the region let's check out the uh, GeoNet servers and see what they have 2.9 there from yesterday. The all magnitudes map here gives us a better indicator of what's going on. There is a 3.0 about an hour or so ago just off the North Island coast. And uh, mostly twos, some ones. There is a four further up along the Kermadec Trench though, deep into the area of that uh, subduction zone, 340 kilometers deep. A quick glance here at the earthquake drums of New Zealand. Well, a little bit of activity. Nothing major though. I'm not seeing any intense earthquake swarming. No major movement uh, out here across the New Zealand area. Just those as listed. All right, uh, further to the west, Papua New Guinea area showing some movement as well. Uh, although most of this earthquake activity from yesterday, so we're starting to build back here along the plate boundaries. Once again, deeper movement, adding further momentum and strain across this area. Uh, the Philippine Trench. This earthquake from yesterday, it looks like early this morning. That should be dropping off here pretty soon. Uh, let's see what we got for newer activity. Quiet zones up here, Mariana Trench northward. Yeah, it kind of looks like we're starting to see a little bit of momentum once again work its way up the Philippine Trench. Uh, so we'll keep that in check there today. See if that's going to show a little bit of elevated movement throughout the day. The Kuril Kamachaka Trench in the Japan area, awfully quiet once again. Let's see, not a whole lot going on in the, the uh, Mediterranean area today. A couple small microquakes across the Turkey area. Aside from that, very absent of earthquake activity, and that includes all magnitudes. 3.0 up into the, uh, the Iceland area, just north of there. Nothing else going on across the Atlantic Ocean for now. Let's check out the space weather activity, and then i got to cut this short here. Got a somewhat busy day. Bunch of school stuff and uh, lectures and whatnot uh, to take care of. 3270 looks to harbor still the most complex structure with a beta gamma class. It has declined a little bit. Uh, 3270 is going to be this regional sunspot right here, which is uh, slowly drifting off the southwestern quadrant of the sun. Still poses a potential uh, for some flaring. We'll keep that uh, in mind here. Aside from that, not a whole lot of potential out here across the visible disk of the sun. Looks like maybe a newer sunspot here is starting to pop up, but uh, overall things are fairly minimal uh, when you count out this sunspot uh, in the southwestern area. Overall threat right now for the flaring, 65% chance for C-flare, M-flare, 15% chance X-flare at 5. Nothing major expected here, folks, for the Aurora, so don't get your hopes up too high. Not a whole lot of uh, activity currently going on here on the sun. 
All right, uh, real quick glance here of the weather from the Storm Prediction Center. Today's enhanced risk across portions of the Ohio area stretching down into Tennessee. That's going to be the orange area. Slight chance of tornado potential, about 5% chance. This has definitely dropped down from yesterday. Uh, but still, there's potential for some hail and some uh, heavier wind events out there as well. Either way, just be weather aware if you're within these regions today. And make sure you have a plan and stay safe out there. All right, folks, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on tonight with the nightly update. Take care. We'll catch you guys later.